This video is about shifting both supply and demand curves. Let's assume we have an example where both number of buyers and sellers will increase at the same time. This means both supply and demand will be higher. Consequently, both of them will shift to the right. Since both supply and demand will shift at the same time. Therefore, we have three scenarios. The first scenario is supply will have a bigger shift compared to demand. The second scenario is demand will have a bigger shift compared to supply. The third scenario is both supply and demand have equal shift. Then we will draw three identical graphs. Draw the y-axis which is the price. Draw the x-axis which is the quantity. Draw the upward supply curve and label it S1. Draw the downward demand curve and label it D1. The point of intersection of S1 and D1 is the equilibrium point, which will result in equilibrium price and equilibrium quantity 1. In the first graph, we shift supply curve to the right with a big shift and label it S2. It is a dotted line because it is the new curve. Then we shift demand curve to the right with a small shift and label it D2. It is a dotted line as well because it is the new curve. The point of intersection of S2 and D2 is the new equilibrium point, which will result in new equilibrium price and new equilibrium quantity 2. We notice price dropped from P1 to P2, and quantity increased from Q1 to Q2. To summarize this effect, price decreases and quantity increases. In the second graph, we shift supply curve to the right with a small shift and label it S2. Then we shift demand curve to the right with a big shift and label it D2. The point of intersection of S2 and D2 is the new equilibrium point, which will result in new equilibrium price and new equilibrium quantity 2. We notice price increased from P1 to P2, and quantity increased from Q1 to Q2. To summarize this effect, price increases and quantity increases. In the third graph, we shift both supply curve and demand curve to the right with equal shift and label it S2 and D2. The point of intersection of S2 and D2 is the new equilibrium point, which will result in new equilibrium price and new equilibrium quantity 2. We notice price remains constant which means P1 is the same as P2. And quantity increased from Q1 to Q2. To summarize this effect, price remains constant and quantity increases. If we compare the three graphs we discover that price decreases, increases, or remains constant which means price would be ambiguous that could change in any direction. While in the three scenarios, quantity increases. Therefore quantity will always increase when both supply and demand shift to the right. 